hey guys welcome back again so in this video let's see that how do we delete a product so if we go to this route here that is uh, http localhost port 3000 forward slash products and forward slash id and we are making a delete request here the kind of http request is delete here and we see that we are getting this uh, message here or this response back that is deleting a single product and if we go to our product route.js file and this is because we are sending a response like this the response dot send deleting a single product so let's see that how do we delete a single product so firstly what i will do i would remove this uh, response from here so firstly what i would like to do is that i would like to parse in the id that is coming as a request parameter so firstly let's get that id so const id equal to request dot params dot id uh, like this and now what we want to do we want to use async and await to delete a product so firstly what we would like to do we would like to use the try and catch blocks and for the error we will simply log it inside our console so console log error dot message like this and now inside the try block what i would like to do i would like to say const result equal to product dot find by id and delete so i'm using this mongoose method here that is find by id and delete and if you want you can use the find one and delete method also as we have done in the previous video where we were getting the product by by its id but here we'll only talk about this find by id and delete and now it takes one parameter so what you can do you can simply pass in the id here the id we get as a route parameter here and now what we want to do we want to mark it as await so await like this and we want to mark this callback function as async because we can only use await when we are using async functions so async like this and now we can simply send back the result and this result contains the product that was deleted from the database so response dot send result like this so now let's save this application and now let's go to our rest client here and here instead of passing in the id here we should pass in the actual id of the product so first let's get a list of all the products and this time what we want to do we want to delete this product that is apple watch gps plus cellular so let's copy its id from here and let's paste it inside our delete route here so that is this route here so instead of the id we want to paste in the actual id so now let's click on send request so we see that we get this product back that is the product we have deleted from the database and it was apple watch gps plus cellular and to verify it what we can do we can get a list of all the products again to see if the list contains that deleted product and we see that that product has been deleted from our database and now if we want to delete this apple watch what we can do we can simply copy its id from here and let's paste it here and let's make a delete request like this and we get here apple watch 499 and the id is this id that has been deleted from the database and now let's click here that is to get a list of all the products again and again we see that in the list of all the products we do not find the apple watch here so guys this is how you delete products from your database so now let's try making a delete request again though this id has already been deleted from the database that is the product related to this id has been deleted from the database so let's see that if we again make a delete request to the same route what will happen so let's send this request here so we see here that we are getting this thing here that is http status code is okay but we do not find anything here and that is because this result contains the actual product that has been deleted if no product has been deleted or no product is found by that id then this result is null and we can verify it by logging it inside the console so console log result like this so let's save this application and now let's go to rest client here and now let's again send a delete request so we see that we are getting null here because mongoose cannot find any product related with this id here and that is why the result is null and now let's do something else that is inside our rest client let's pass in a delete request to an id which is not a mongodb id that is not of type of mongodb object id so let's delete the last letter from here that was f and let's make a send request here we see here that we are getting this error code here cast to object id failed and this error is coming from this catch block here that is this catch block here and to handle these kinds of error that firstly if the product is not found in the database then we should send a 404 error and if the request is a bad request then how do we handle those errors so that will be coming in later in the video so don't worry about that that why are we not handling any errors here and not sending any errors back to the client we will be doing that all later in the videos because i'll make a separate video to handle all the errors so in the next video let's see that how do we update the product by its id